So today I am down on the Anacostia River at the barge headquarters of AWS and we are actually tagging mussels that we have been monitoring uh, along at seven study sites of the Anacostia River for the past year. Um, after we tag them in another probably three weeks or so, we will start to release them into the Anacostia River. Hi, I'm Mary Didier and I am a DC resident. I've been here for 31 years and I love the Anacostia River and particularly I love doing muscle restoration work. It was some work that I used to do or actually still do in uh, the low country in South Carolina with oysters. That led me to AWS. I was wondering how can I do similar work up here and so I uh, contacted the uh, Anacostia Watershed Society and joined their Master uh, Watershed Steward Academy program. And as my capstone project, uh, get to work on mussels. Mussels are important because they help filter the water. Uh, they can, a full adult mussel can filter probably between 10 to 40 gallons a day. They are also good in that they serve as a food source for other mammal, animals that are in the Anacostia. Uh, or on Kingman and Heritage Islands. Um, they also serve as habitat when they die. They can serve as habitat for other macro invertebrates that are in the river. So I see a future where the Anacostia is a place where those who, from wherever, for our visitors, for those who live here, uh, can come and enjoy. But that also means as we have more people access the river that we have to make sure that we have strong stewardship of our river in place. And that will help with education and in projects like the muscle restoration. Amy Johnson was an inspirational teacher. Throughout her teaching career of over 16 years, she integrated studies about the environment and specifically the Anacostia watershed. When she first began teaching at the Cornerstone Community School, she was one of the first teachers to participate in Anacostia Watershed Society's teacher training, Rice Rangers program, and River of Words. From there, she began teaching at DC Public Schools' Key Elementary, where she continued working with AWS through Rice Rangers and the SHAD program. My name's Grace Manube, and I was a friend and colleague of Amy Johnson. Amy was always very excited to teach science and to find interesting and engaging ways to connect what she was teaching to what really related with um, the lives of her students. And so she really was great at bringing the environment to, into the classroom and then bringing her students outside as well. Amy passed away in June 2019 after battling with cancer for over four years. In her obituary, the family wrote, Amy organized science fairs and educational camping trips and inspired numerous students to love science and per pursue careers in STEM fields. She often regaled family and friends with new insights about clouds, horseshoe crabs, shad, and fish ladders. 
Her love for science and teaching was supported by her experiences introducing hundreds of students to the Anacostia River and its watershed. My name is Roberto Sanchez. I'm a graduate of Bladensburg High School and I'm a current junior at Bowie State University. I first got involved with the Anacostia River through End Time Harvest Ministries Pathways to Career Success program. I entered in my ninth grade year and as a part of our Fit for Success programs, we took trips to the Anacostia River where we learned about the watershed, we learned about environmental stewardship, and through that program that is how I got introduced to the Anacostia. And during my during my second year in the Pathways to Career Success program, I was employed at the Bladensburg Waterfront Park. I think the funnest thing I've ever done on the Anacostia River was when I was led by my supervisor at the Bladensburg Waterfront Park and gave tours of the Anacostia River to elementary school kids, seeing their eyes light up and as they see birds and eagles and turtles and ducks just walk around and roam around the waters. That was the best part. I think there is a way for millennials to learn to enjoy the river and just to have a deeper appreciation for nature. Just to grow in friendship over it and fellowship over it, to just go out and have a genuine experience, not making it so much a big issue. The way to get people out is just to have fun and just to enjoy it with somebody that you care about. Go out with a friend and go paddle on the river. Go out with a friend and ride bikes down the river. I think that's really the key to it. For more than 30 years, Bruce McNeil documented the nation's capital waterways. His fine art photography has been in the forefront of emphasizing the plight of the environment. His work has reached everyone, from his neighbors in Anacostia to the policymakers on Pennsylvania Avenue. He wanted his artistic advocacy to influence and promote positive environmental and social change. Bruce often included the mythological symbol of Mami Wada, the goddess of oceans and rivers, in his artwork. Bruce said, Mami Wada is my thought-provoking lightning rod about a serious topic, pollution. Since she is a matriarchal figurehead for women of African descent, I transpose my mother's face and others onto the Anacostia's protective waters to serve as a beacon of hope. Although our friend Bruce McNeil died in May 2019, his spirit lives on in his art and in the Anacostia River watershed communities. My name is Mary Lou Barcella Brooks. I am an educator at Gladys Noon Spelman Elementary. I taught for, uh, for two years here as a grade three teacher, self-contained. And then my principal moved me to fourth grade to teach science. And I was like, no, please don't move me. I thought it was like a demotion, but I found out that I have found my niche. The SHAD program fits into my teaching method very well as I am a very hands-on teacher. So when I teach, I would like everyone, I would like all of my students to learn something by doing it. So a particular moment that I like, um, a pontoon boat, I like that a lot. I also like a lot um, the wetland planting. I am a child of, of farmers, so I know exactly how to plant rice, harvest them. So I feel that I have these connection. I tell my kids, we are a part of the Anacostia watershed, so we have to take care of it, like how you take care of your house. So educators are a part of the key to restoring the Anacostia River. Because as educators, we have the power to touch all of the students. I have the power to instill it in my students' minds that even as a fourth grader, even as young as they are, they can already do something. They can already make a difference. So I, I say to my kids, hey, we have our superpower.